Welcome back to another Off the Record with the Careful Boys. Today we got Tesh with us. Hey. Ooh. And we're going to do a whole session of Ask an Indian Man. No, <laughs> <laughs> so it's because you know what's crazy is like I've been around Indian culture, I have Indian friends, whatever, but I never did like a deep dive of like asking things that I was always curious about because off camera we were talking about um you know Punjabi and Sikh culture and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that and I was like wait I've heard of Punjabi like Punjabi MC and I was like Hell yeah. is that another way to say Indian or is that like a culture ethnic group in India <clears throat> yeah it's an ethnic group it would be like saying oh you know I'm a it's not as specific but like I'm a New Yorker and you're you know from California oh so, so, so. but we speak different languages we have different cultures we have different Food. I'm an Angelino. Certain, certain different, certain customs mm. are slightly different. Would it be almost like like Latin America? Like you have the different like Panama, Guatemala, whatever, and they're like Latin, but they yes and no because you know they they all speak Spanish. Oh, right? I see. So like Punjabi is different from Tamil, where I'm from, mm. which is oh. South India. Like my is it like China where there's Cantonese, Mandarin? Yeah, whatever. yeah like okay. Punjabi and Tamil are completely different. Oh. Like I can't understand I Punjabi at all. Wow. wow. But like Punjabi is similar to Hindi. Mm. Hindi is the na well, you know, the national language of India. So everyone speaks Hindi. Like everyone speaks to. Mandarin. <laughs> they're supposed. They're supposed to. Do you speak Hindi? No, I don't. Oh. So like for example, like my dad doesn't speak Hindi. My mom does. Oh. oh. And so when they watch Bollywood movies, we'll have to put we put subtitles on, obviously. So they just speak uh -huh. that's the English is their common language? Well Tamil. Tamil. They both speak Tamil. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the subtitles are Tamil? They wouldn't read in Tamil. My dad would probably now prefer to read in English. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's awesome. pretty funny. That's awesome. What's like the most, I guess, dominant or or biggest like culture group? So you got uh, uh, Hindi, you got Tamil, you got yeah, I Punjab, mean, you have would, yeah. I would say like, I don't, I don't know. Probably Punjabi, South, a you know, South Indian, Tamil, the, the Central Maharashtrian. That's like Central. Which mm -hmm. one's the the dad beats the son's ass? Yeah. The dad beats the son all every. Oh, all of them. What about the son beats the I would dad? Say every brown culture. I would say yeah. Hindi speaking or even Spanish speaking. It's not like if you're brown, it's like your dad is probably gay. Yeah. Because growing yeah. up, my best friend was Indian, but I think it was also like we were so young, you don't really dive into like knowing that there's different. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. I just know I go there when he's in trouble. His dad does wear uh, like a head wrap of some uh -huh. sort. So, so he's probably Sikh. He's probably Sikh. He's Sikh. Yeah. His dad yeah. beats his ass. And I know in, <laughs> in the backyard, her mom, I mean, his mom has a ton of like lavender, peppermint, like a ton of herbs. That's all I remember. And I just remember if we run through the backyard, we're going to come out smelling funny. <laughs> <laughs> Top three childhood memories. I mean, that's it's better. I mean, it's, I mean, smelling like lavender is not so bad. That's pretty fire, dude. Yeah, it's pretty good. People pay money but, for that. But, but like, you know, like Sikhism is actually it's a religion. That's not uh, like you can be Sikh and be you know white. Oh, so yeah. there's no and region from designated where it's like that's mainly Sikh in India. Well, but I would say the concentration of uh, people who practice Sikhism are Punjabi. Oh, oh and and the mom and the grandma wore the traditional clothes mm -hmm. where the the six pack showing <laughs> but the sister <laughs> wore regular clothes the auntie midriff yeah yeah is that what you're saying midriff. the auntie midriff the sister wore regular clothes is that normal like you mean covering more no, no what he's saying is that it's so like there's a halter top <laughs> and then there's a what we they I don't know it depends on what they like a halter top and a muffin top <laughs> I'm trying to explain it in like Western terms. There's a there's a halter top. I'm the wrong person to be talking. Are you about. familiar? No, this is fun. This is good. Like a lenga, which is an Indian skirt, but maybe they're wearing like something called sarwal kameez, which is like a full outfit. Are you familiar oh. with Cerritos and Artesia? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So the the mom and the grandma shops in Artesia. Yeah, it makes sense. I'm <laughs> pioneer. Yeah. So the sister shops because, at the mall. Because okay, so those it's like. <laughs> Yeah, it would be like your mom going to Chinatown to buy her clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you hitting up Macy's yeah. down the yeah. street. Yeah. <laughs> like, but they're over at Sona Chandi. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like, what is that all about? Is that? It's just because they can get traditional clothing there, probably for a, good, a price, and they obviously can haggle. Oh. Uh, you know, see, the haggling uh, is, is hard. Big, okay. is it, so is in every Indian community anywhere in the world, is haggling a known like uh, you can haggle? Yeah, you can haggle. Like, what are some no haggle stuff? Yeah, yeah. There is no such thing. Oh, really? If you go to yeah. I mean, all, other than like a restaurant oh. where there's like prices on the uh, menu, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you know, if you, you don't see a price, do Indian patients haggle with your dad when after they get like a procedure. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, no, you know, my, my dad haggles with the insurance company. <laughs> oh, that's what you're saying. <laughs> 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, so you know, Indian Indian culture is very diverse. You know, even with definition, please, mm -hmm. um, which if you haven't seen on Netflix, it's very good. Mm -hmm. It's out. Now, <laughs> right now, Watch it. that's the movie he's in. Definition, please, hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes on Netflix in the United States, Canada, UK, New Zealand, New Zealand, and Australia. Australia, <laughs> let's go. So, I have another question too. Um, I don't know if this is Indian related. What's your skincare routine? I feel like Indian people have immaculate skin. Yeah, really <laughs> my skincare yeah, routine. routine. So I'm gonna get What's yelled at by everyone. I wash my face with St. Ives, which every single person that is either like a dermatologist or an esthetician is like, don't use don't it. Don't use it. What's wrong with that? So that means the best apricot. It's just like you just like St. Ives face scrub. Is it the apricot one? Yeah, the apricot. What's, What's wrong with that? that? We yeah. use Curology. They, they, <laughs> they say that the walnut shells are too abrasive oh. to your skin. But look skin. at the can't argue with results. At, Come on, dude, you have the best skin. I've ever seen. Thank you. I just, uh, one of my buddies stayed over. He brought over a face wash. I don't know what company it's from. I've been using that because he left it in my shower. <laughs> Luber, is it Luberderm? Luberderm? Luberderm, Luberderm. Luberderm sounds like yeah, a brand that's, that that's we like a, That's shower. like, I thought that was lotion. Thanks, Heron. He left it in my shower. <laughs> uh, Mine now. Maybe also an executive producer on the movie. Oh, uh, cool. What else? That's what I do. I wash my face. All right. Dang. There's no secret. Just, oh, I got a question, uh, Indian question. <laughs> All right, uh, sunblock. Oh yeah, sunblock, that's sunblock. a big. Indian question number five. All right, number so five? Uh, uh, Sri Lanka, that yes. island, right? Is yes. that considered India too, or it's so different? Sri Lanka used to be part of India. Uh, used to be called Ceylon, and then they changed their name to Sri Lanka, because I think it's- Independence or whatever? Yeah, it reflects, and then they became independent. Oh. Um, but they are now an independent country. But to answer your question, it used to be part of India, as was Pakistan. So like that's nationalism, right? But then like, what about ethnically? Are they so ethnically they have, the, I think the two biggest groups there and you know, internet can look this up, but it's probably like Sinhalese, which is like people from Sri Lanka. And then, oh. and then people uh, who are Tamil, which are people from my city. Oh, cause Tamil is South like India. South. Yeah, it's like South India. So it's like a larger area. Within the groups of Indian, uh, they're like, these other guys are late all the time. <laughs> Yeah, or yeah, that group is called All Indian. <laughs> Indian Standard Time. Indian Standard Time. Standard Time, whatever acronym you want to place on it. Dude, yeah. if you want an Indian person to say, oh, my party show is at 8 p.m., you tell an Indian 7, person 6.30. Oh, 6.30? 6.30. That's an hour and a half. An hour and a half? At least an hour. Uh, Holy shit. Really? Yeah, bro. What, what are Indian no people idea. doing when they're late? What I are don't... they really doing? What are they really doing? <laughs> Have, <laughs> having <laughs> sex. There's a billion of us. <laughs> <laughs> In LA, is there any beefs between Indians and Bangladeshis? Social beefs, like little things. I'm sure really there, I'm sure there are, but like yeah, this is not stuff that, that I'm not privy to. Another country, I believe, that was part of India before the partition. Yeah, because I think I don't know. I'm, I'm <laughs> asking because I, I always like hear little things. Like yeah, I'm sure there's always like you know cultural rivalries. Yeah. I'm sure as there is in regions of China. Of course. Like you know, oh, like do people are like which whose cooking is better, Sichuan or Cantonese? Yeah. <laughs> like you have shit like that, right? I'm sure. Samu. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> like so, like North Indian food and South Indian food are very different. <laughs> right. So like North Indian food is probably what most people are familiar with: naan, chicken tikka, chana masala, Ooh. like sag paneer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all of that food is oh, very Punjabi. Yeah, greatest hits. It's all Punjabi food. That's why a lot of people, you know, know Punjabi culture. Yeah. What about mango chutney? Yeah, but that's like basic. That's like me saying chili oil. Oh, so everyone like everyone oh, does it, right? Yeah, yeah, but like everyone have their version. Of okay, it, right, right. Like everyone will have yeah, there'll yeah. be regional versions. But like South Indian food, what I grew up with was like uh, dishes like dosa, which is a lentil oh, and uh, rice crepe, savory crepe. Is that and, the? Ooh. It comes in like little cups, kind of, and then. No, so you're probably thinking of sambar, which is oh, okay. served with dosa. Idiot. Oh, you cups. Oh, you're thinking of pani puri. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where yeah. it's like a little uh, yeah, those rice delicious. wafer. They poke a hole. Very with delicious. With a little potato and they put spiced water Ooh. in it. Ooh. I'm sorry, Ryan. I fucked oh, up. Yeah. <laughs> so pani puri is like spiced tamarind water, whatever. Yeah, that's do whatever that is. And so oh. that it means uh, puri <laughs> is the vessel, the cracker, ah, the wheat see, cracker, see, see, see. and then pani means water in puri Hindi. The in Hindi. Oh, Yo, know, it's yeah. funny. My girlfriend um, grew up in the UK, right? So she's like. Man, I'm so homesick right now. Can we get some Indian food? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, That's it was so funny. I was watching a cooking show on Netflix, 
and it was in the UK. And it's like families that cook, mm. they cook against each other, and they were like, "Okay, so today you're going to make your favorite dish from home, right?" And then I'm like, "Oh, cool, we're gonna get like a French dish, an yeah. Italian dish." Spotted dick. Everyone Indian made food. fucking Indian food. <laughs> <laughs> Every single family made Indian food. Did it look good? And I was like, "What the fuck is?" This? Today's video is brought to you by Audible. All right, so 2022 is a new year and I think a lot of people are getting on this like self-awareness, self-help, just self-work because positive we've been- change. Positive change and a lot of self-growth because we had a lot of time with ourselves this past year, you know what I mean? True. And um, I got on this whole thing and you know how like we've been doing a lot of road trips and uh, there comes a time when you don't want to talk all the time in the car, you just want to just listen to something nice. You know, and maybe learn something together or something. Yeah, educational, whatever. Yeah. And right now, um, I'm listening to this audio book called "Thou Shall Prosper," mm. and it's interesting because it's about the rules and things that help the Jewish community, like build their bond, build their businesses, and like they have different rules, right? And I feel yeah. like I'm a secular person, right? I used to be a part of a religion, but then sometimes I kind of miss those. Things that make a you know culture around a religion and and, and, and it makes like a community and it yeah. makes people like you know disciplined and and maybe even like strict on themselves or whatever. Yeah. And, and so I picked up this book because I wanted to see like oh a look into you know the lives of you know the Jewish community and what they do to like prosper and things like that. And then so that's kind of what I've been in. It's been super dang interesting. Yeah, I really like audiobooks too, because a lot of times, you know, when you're busy, it's hard to fit in reading. So if you're driving around a lot, especially if you live in LA or even Vegas where we commute all the time, listening to audiobooks on Audible is a very easy way to learn and have self growth and kind of improve where your life is going. And they got thousands of titles too. So if you're not just into audiobooks, they also got podcasts, guided wellness. They got comedies. Yeah, theatrical stuff. They got all kinds of stuff for all of your listening pleasures. So it's freaking awesome. And it's an app you can just have on your phone so you can go anywhere and listen. So if this sounds interesting to you, make sure you go check it out. Go to audible.com slash off the record or text off the record to 500 500. That's audible.com slash off the record or text off the record to 500 500 and improve yourself. I would even say, I, I would say yes, but it's even bigger. Wow. It's like deep in the core. It's deep because I would say like, British culture to Indian culture is almost akin to like American culture is to black culture. Oh, mm. I see. Also in the relationship, yeah, yeah, yeah. because like how they were persecuted, you know, like oh. Indians were persecuted by the British, you know, they yeah. took over India. I yeah. see. You know what I mean? So they, they're much more intertwined. It's super complicated. You know how I, obviously I'm American, so I can't speak as like a British Indian. Yeah. But yeah. try though. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's <laughs> fucked up. I'm gonna just go ahead and say we can all agree it was all fucked up. <laughs> From my understanding though, it's like, you know how on the West Coast, right? Like, if you if you think about Japanese Americans here being like six generations in or whatever, right? Out in uh, the UK, it's even longer than it's that. Long Indians long. been yeah. living out there for like a long, long, long time. Long time, yeah. long time. Also, it's like much closer. If they were like, hey, I'm gonna get out of India, let me go to the UK, just cause it's shorter. Mm -hmm. Chances are there's more community. Mm -hmm. There's, uh, you know, just maybe I have a relative there, like whatever the reason. Oh, but it's so cold. I don't know, my parents moved to New York. Oh, that's <laughs> true, that's true. Do you feel like upset when you go to Indian restaurant and the cooks are Mexican? No, not at all. <laughs> yeah, we don't either. No, not at all. <laughs> then I know it's legit. Yeah. Dude, yeah, yeah. Mexicans make the best Worldwide food. Worldwide. Everywhere you go. Yeah, Most well around. You, know, you want to know a funny, a funny thing? If you go on a cruise and you look at all the cooks, mm -hmm. they're all like Filipino? Indian or Asian <laughs> or East Asian. The majority of them are great Indian chefs. Yeah. So like, and yeah. they won't serve the Indian uh, food. But if you go. Oh, ask them for it? If you ask them for it, excuse me, they'll get excited. Oh, and they'll be like, oh yeah, we'll make something for you. Because you're there for a week, yeah, right? Yeah, or yeah. two. So you just like befriend one of the couple of people and be like, yo, hook me up a with the best Indian food. Yeah, yeah. Like, just hook me up with the best Indian food you guys got. 
and they'll oh, they'll shit. do it. Damn, Next carnival no, cruise, bro. Because dude, a lot of people a lot of people don't realize this, but people who come in with dietary restrictions, who so like, oh, I'm vegan, or I'll like, I'll eat kosher, or like, they'll instead of saying, oh, we have kosher food, they'll just be like, oh, we just made you something vegetarian. Right. Was Indian food? Yeah. Nine times out of ten, wow. it's Indian food. Oh. Honestly, as far as like, Th this like, is what people not, don't understand, and I wish people in America understood this. And there's like, oh, beef for American beef. I like beef, yeah. American food. <laughs> Me too. Do, they don't know how to cook vegetables. Mm, yeah, no, that's no. true. That's true. Like steamed like broccoli. You, that's yeah. bullshit. Like if you talk, this is what I always say. Like just put it in a pot. Asian yeah. cuisine knows how to cook vegetables. Yeah. I could be vegetarian if I'm Asian. Chinese yeah. and Indian cuisine. Yeah. Like some of my favorite food is Indo Chinese food, Ooh. which they is very popular in India. Really? Yeah. They basically take. Uh, Chinese cooking techniques and use like Indian spices. Oh, oh so it's like Southeast Asian oh. style. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Malaysian. Yeah, like yeah Malaysian. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's also like yeah, like Malaysian food is very because they get a lot of the influence. Yeah, 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 yeah. The sauces and the breads and yeah. the cooking techniques and is, like is I love even, banana leaf at the fucking Grove. Mm. Is there even, a even a proper Indian fast food chain? No, not out here at least. Because you're thinking about Jollibee, weren't you, you Filipino? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the equivalent? Like Yoshinoya, you have Panda Express. They should make. They need one. It, it, there is, is there one in India? <sighs> yeah. They just shoot out samosas at you. It's like KFC. Yeah. No, they have like the street Mc, vendors, McGarnish. right? So like, <laughs> like, right? Like, so if like you want samosas, you go to the street vendor. You want what we call. What about in America? But they should make a franchise, like, like Curry Kid or yeah. something. No, but it's kid. never, it's Curry never. Kid. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, here, here's the issue. Here's the issue. Curry kid. This is what I don't understand, and like maybe you relate to this. Is like when you go to people, I'll never get this. You go to like a Thai restaurant, and you're like, no, not spicy. I'm like, get out. <laughs> yeah. So if someone came to me and they were like, hey, I want oh, chicken tikka, want but like not it. spicy. I'm like, get out. Because <laughs> it's not the. I'm like, that's not the dish. Yeah. It's it has to be spicy. Like it has to be spicy. Oh. Spicy though. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Indian spicy. Get out, dude. Get out. Because sometimes, man, get you get fire. diarrhea, man. Yeah. No, I'm not saying like light it on fire. But nine times out of ten, I mean Indian cooking because it's so spicy, spice and like <laughs> yeah, and, and like labor intensive. I mean, I guess in the fast food setting it could work, but Indian people won't go there. Right, so, then so it won't like, be authentic. Oh, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Like the okay. le the restaurants I go to the least are Indian restaurants, and I feel like that yeah. happens with a lot of Indian. It won't have the fubu effect. Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't know. Yeah. Do you guys go to a, like you know Asian yeah. restaurants? Yeah. I like one out here. Um, it's called it's Banu, one of my favorite ones. But they have a cool little bodega next to it too. But did you guys grow up with authentic? You know, the authentic... I wouldn't know what authentic cultures? is. Oh, yeah. of my culture? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I lived in a Japanese neighborhood. And so, like, would, would you have Japanese food at home every day, home cooked? My mom Not couldn't fucking day. cook for shit, yeah. so I love the restaurant. Okay. <laughs> so, like, we had Indian food every Lobby. single day. So you want to try other shit. It's not even that. It's because well, like, it can't beat home food. You can't beat yeah, home yeah, food. Yeah, yeah, like, you can't beat it. And, like... Yeah. All of our friends, we all operate the same. And like, we'll go to Indian restaurants together and be like, yeah, it's whatever. Yeah. yeah Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Have you had Indian food in the UK? Because no, it blew my mind. It, it's, I'm like, why can't they do this in America? No, but I've had Indian food in India. Oh, yeah. And it's, it's it great. It's, yeah, oh, yeah. It's different. It's yeah. different. And it's excellent. It's fucking excellent. It's also like a fraction of the price. Oh. I'm like, I spent, that makes it even oh, taste like, I spent huh? like five dollars on all of this food. Yeah. Like for all of us to go yeah. eat like kings, I could spend literally twenty bucks and it would be more than anything we've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> like if we went to like small hole in the walls. What's the best Indian street cart food? Mm. Oh, oh good question. Like in LA? I mean, is in not. Or in India. Like what what's the well, I, well you can't eat it. Like I can't eat it because then I'm gonna have dysentery. <laughs> <laughs> like when you see like Andrew Zimmerman, go down you, you see they, like these these YouTubers yeah. who go to these food yeah. carts. Yeah. Yeah. All those guys grow up there, yeah. or you know, there's like those uh, those famous white guys who eat there. The they area. like live in China or live in Thailand right, or live right, in India. Right, yeah. So like they're okay drinking the water. Like I can't go have pani puri. If I go have pani puri, I'm gonna die. <laughs> like I'll have diarrhea yeah, for three and a half weeks. Bro. Yeah, Delicious. because you have to see them boil the water or cook the food. Right. You have to like watch. Them. So like yeah. even if they're like, hey, <laughs> yeah. I want a samosa from yeah. a street vendor, they'll have a hundred samosas sitting in a pretty triangle, right? Yeah. And there'll be like flies on it, right? And like shit yeah. like that. You have to be like, no, you need to make me a fresh one. I need to see you make it. <laughs> and then they're just like this <laughs> fucking guy. <laughs> and even then, you're like, is it a risk? Because like. The potatoes have been just sitting out there. Like, I've eaten a lot of food like that, and I'm fine. But the last time I got fucked up was at a Marriott 
not eating Mexican food in Mexico. In America? <laughs> no, in America. So no, like, I, I would get donuts from a guy that has a fucking donut basket and he opens up and flies fly yeah. out and I'm all like, I'm eating so that just, fucker. You kind of got to pick your poison. Like, one time I had a chicken shawarma sandwich mm -hmm. and it was literally an auntie squatting on the floor. Like, she had her sari hiked up and she was, like, <laughs> oh, stirring the pot. God. And I looked over at my cousin and I'm like, dude, are you sure this is going to be okay? And he's like, yeah, it'll be fine. And then I saw the one dude, like, pull a baguette out of like a fucking the back of a rickshaw. And I was like, I don't know if I should eat that. <laughs> and then he had this sauce and he just put it all over the baguette. And I was like, yeah, I think I'll eat it. <laughs> right, and you were good. And I was fine. Nice. And ironically, dude, I was the only person on that trip because my whole family was there that didn't get sick. Whoa. You didn't have diarrhea? Uh, <laughs> didn't have diarrhea once that trip. Oh. Did you so did you gloat over here with the rest of your family? You were just like, oh, you yeah. fucking weak ass. You yeah, I was like, like you weak ass yeah. stomachs. When you guys choose restaurants out there, how do you know which ones are like in the clear and which ones are like, eh, I don't know. No, if you go to any nicer restaurant, the service is always really, really great. Like India, that's the one thing. Like if you go to a, a, a hotel, it'll be excellent. Mm -hmm. okay. It's completely different. Like, you'll be at a five-star hotel, and then across the street will be a slum. Nice. Right. I like that. I want to go there. <laughs> oh, I have That's a different. question. Is, uh, is there something that dictates whether or not, like, the ladies have the red dot or not? Like, if they're married that, or... It's just a, it's a cultural significant thing. They're, they're all religious significant. Oh, they're all religious. It, it, you don't have to be religious. Oh, okay. Now it can be both fashion, cultural, and religion. It kind of do guys do it, too? Uh, they they don't they won't wear it in the traditional sense, but like for example, like uh, if they go to, to, to temple and then oh. come back, they'll have the powder oh. on, is it on like their ash? head. It, is it? It's I don't know what it's. What about the of. red dot thing? I see like my friend's grandma. Yeah, that's just a sticker. Oh, that's not. And that's that religious? Yeah, for her, if your grandmother is wearing it, she's probably wearing it for religious uh, significance. Oh. It'd be the equivalent of anyone just like wearing a cross on their neck. What if Gwen oh. Stefani wears it? What does that mean? No, right? that's just appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> But she did date an Indian guy. Oh yeah, the bass right. player. The bass player was Indian. Yeah, so yeah. Does it count? <laughs> I don't They're know. not married anymore, right? She's married to what's? I don't know. I, I'm asking for my white Wait, girlfriend because I mean, she's like, she's like, yo, I have enough Japanese cum in me. I think I'm pretty much <laughs> Japanese now. That's how she phrased it. Yeah, <laughs> she was like, I'm filled. So I'm like, so I'm like one percent Japanese. You know what? At she's this point, <laughs> at this point, you can wear anything oh. Jap. Yeah, you could do whatever. That's fine. You can, yeah. you can do that. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Like, what like type of Japanese can. traditions does she want to instill in her life? She was thinking about Apparently ritual come, suicide. Like <laughs> That's the first yeah. one. Hari Kari. Yeah, Harry Carries. What's the difference between Hari Hari Kari and Sapuku? Are the same thing? Yeah, ask him some yeah. Japanese shit. Uh, that's the literal translation. I mean, it's like cutting the gut. Like, oh, uh, yeah. They mean two different things, mm. but they're the same thing. Basically. So one's the ritual, one's the physical, actual. That's action. just the yeah. The it's, literal it's, translation. Yeah. Which is a more Harakiri is just Hara is like gut. Kiri is like oh. cutting. Oh. Yeah, and then Sapuku is you know the like, art of killing yourself basically. Yeah. That's yeah. the. It's a whole art. It's like judo and jujitsu sometimes are used interchangeably in Japan. But then in the US, you think of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Judo as Olympic sport. So yeah. then, but it's the same thing in Japan. Japanese Jiu Jitsu mm, and yeah. Judo are the same thing. Jiu Jitsu, if you write it out, Jiu Jitsu. Jiu -jitsu so Jitsu just means technique. Technique. Right. Do is way. I learned so that from Naruto. Oh, really? <laughs> I knew that. Oh. <laughs> uh, karate, right? Karate, karate Do, karate, karate yeah. Jitsu. Yeah. Hand. It just means one is technique and focuses on like more of the logical step by step, and then the other one is more like. The, the 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 spiritual the encompassing way. Yeah, yeah basically okay. I get it what's your favorite Indian martial art there's only there's one what is it called Dalsam it's called Kalari Poo I'm gonna get her all the internet's gonna smash me on <laughs> do you guys remember that uh, those two guys that traveled the world and Try, try different martial yeah. arts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a, no, they go to India. They go to India for the sword fighting sword shit. Sword fighting, so that, oh, that's yeah. part of it. And so it's like based on a lot of animal movements, but the, the idea is that that martial art, in conjunction with yoga, made its way to the Shaolin temple. Yeah. Whoa. And that's Dang. how legend has it. And then the Shaolin Kung Fu was born from that. <sighs> they ripped off Indian people. Yeah. And so like, as of course, when you know, white people showed up, they make everything illegal. Yeah. And so that culture kind of disappeared. <gasps> in Buddhist and Buddhist folklore, That's the Shaolin crazy. Temple was never like a combative place. It was just there's just a name. It's mm -hmm. just like saying like 
uh, like Eagle Rock or whatever, just the name of the place. And then there was a mysterious Indian man that came and Dancing. taught them how to exercise. Yes. And the exercise was oh. the martial art. Martial art. And then they started practicing it so much that it became synonymous with that temple. And you know, uh, that Shaolin Kung Fu made its way to Okinawa. Everyone and then came. karate <laughs> original name was called Chinese Hands. And then the Wu Tang Clan, then the Wu -Tang Clan. Came, Wu -Tang came to my house to do a music video and then they dumped shit all over the streets. <laughs> so as you can see, this has all come full circle. <laughs> The sharing of cultures. Wu-Tang, Wu-Tang. Yo, Wu-Tang forever, bro. Method <laughs> man for life. <laughs>